Hi guys, just a quick tutorial on how to install Windows on your new MacBook Retina, MacBook Pro Retina display. So these are the ones without the CD-ROM. Uh, so first what you need to do is, you need to ensure you've got a, a Windows ISO file. So that's the installation, you can get that from Microsoft or um, I think I got mine from my MSDN license. So here we go. You just need to open Boot Camp, continue, and you need to create the. So just uncheck that, and you need to create the disk. Um, so as long as you've got the ISO from Windows, uh, this will create the your USB pen drive and install all the files in the, in the particular format that Boot Camp likes it, and it also um, include the Windows uh, update as well from Apple. Um, so once that's created, which I've already done, we can go ahead and install Windows. Now one word of advice, the Windows partition, well when I installed it previously it did take around 40 gig um, uh, for the, the uh, Windows files and installation folders, so make sure you have plenty of space. Um, I think my previous uh, format was 50 gig, but now I'll take it to 1 to 8. Uh, but again, it depends which one you use more, you can divide it um, according to that. So you just click on install. Now while doing this, I did encounter a few issues. Um, I've created separate videos for them, so you can just go check out uh, my channel and hopefully uh, they'll help you get past any, any issues. Okay, so um, the Windows installation has completed. Um, towards the end of it, you will get the, as long as you've created the USB pen drive with Boot Camp, it, it should give you these options. Um, so, to once once the operating system is installed, this part of it just installs um, all the drivers uh, to ensure that the uh, MacBook Pro uh, hardware works. Uh, correctly with uh, Windows. So um, we'll just let that install now.
So now this has finished installation and it's requiring you to restart the machine. So video drivers, um, so the resolution is spot on, everything has gone minute. Uh, you can adjust that to whatever you require. So there you have it, um, Windows 7 installed on my MacBook Pro Retina. Um, one thing you've got to get used to is using the trackpad, uh, double clicking on the, or right clicking is sometimes awkward so it's better if you attach a, attach a normal mouse to it. As you can see, all the drivers are installed correctly and uh, and it's working perfectly fine. Um, again, you can you can register or get a serial key. There's plenty of ways of doing that, but um, I'm sure somebody else can cover that. Once you reboot the machine, make sure you keep your finger on the option key, and what that will do is that will give you the boot option so it'll, it'll give you the option to boot with uh, the different drives as you'll see in a minute so there thanks for watching guys and yes it's just as simple as that to install uh, Windows 7 on your MacBook Pro Retina uh, 